Today is Tuesday, March 24th, and we are ready for math. Um, we are talking today about the area of a triangle, and we are in your book on page 255, <coughs> 255 to 256, and I really like this lesson because it bounces directly off of the last lesson we had, which was area. And so it was basically the area of, we were doing quadrilaterals, we were also doing some complex area where we had some sticky out parts, but we were basically splitting those up and finding two boxes and then adding them together. So area, say it with me, equals, what was our formula? Length times width. <clears throat> so really we just had two measurements and we were multiplying them. So let's take this sheet of paper. Okay, I've got a rectangle here. And let's say that this side is 7. Okay, so we're going to have area equals 7 times, and let's say this side is about 11. Okay, so 7 times 11, that would mean that our area equals 77, let's call it inches, and remember what we had to do to finish that up. 77 inches squared, remember that? Okay, so this is our rectangle. That's how you do it, seven times uh, 11. If there was a little part coming off like this, Okay, let's say there's another sheet of paper and it sticks out like this. I would figure out the area of this, the area of this, and add them together. That's what we did yesterday. Today, okay, according to your paper, we're doing area of a triangle. Well, let's think about this for just a minute. We can logically figure it out. So if we already know the area of a rectangle, okay, we already know how to figure that out. What if I were to do this. Now, I have cut that rectangle into two pieces. Okay, this was my rectangle. I now have two pieces. What are my two pieces? Guess what? They're triangles. Okay, so what did I do to that area? This was the area 77. Now, it's going to be what? Half of 77, right? Now, I didn't pick easy measurements to find half of. That was my fault. But whatever your measurement was here, you're going to do half. So that's how you find the area of a triangle. Okay. Now, we're going to... So the area of a triangle, it says at the top of your page, is half the area of a related rectangle. So you find the area and then you take half of it. Okay, now it doesn't say this in your book, but the equation for a triangle is area equals, and we call it half. base times height. It's called base times height instead of length times width. So you have a base and then you have a height and then you take half of that. Half of base times height because base times height would really be your length and width and then we're going to take half of it. So look at number one. This is pretty simple, right? They show you the triangle there on number one, but they also show you what it would look like if it were a rectangle. Okay, and what they ask you to do first is take the area of the rectangle. So the area of the rectangle would be, look at the bottom, 5 times 2. So you write that in the blank. It would be 5 times 2, which would be 10. We look at our unit, which here is yards, and then we put our little squared sign, right? So 10 yards squared. Now, what's the area of the triangle? If the rectangle was 10, the triangle is going to be 5, right? It's going to be 5 yards squared, 5 yards squared. Now, you're on a roll now. Look at number 2. So let's find the area of number 2. They give you the 
uh, rectangle, it would be 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. What's our unit? Centimeters, what do we put? Squared. So then to figure out what the area of the triangle would be, we half it. So instead of 6, we're going to write 3. Good. 3 centimeters squared. Last one here. Green one. 8 times 7 would give you 56 inches squared. Then we're going to take half of 56, and I'm going to give you a minute to think about that. You got half of 56. Half of 56 is 28 inches squared. Okay, got it. Simple, right? Length times width, take half of it, done. Right. Okay, do number four. Okay, go ahead and do number five. Number five doesn't even ask you for the rectangle. Um, it doesn't even ask you for the triangle, it just wants the rectangle. And then go ahead and do number six, and we'll look at the back. All right, look at you, you're so smart. Okay, now let's look at the back. So write an equation for the colored part, same thing. So seven and eight look exactly the same as what we just did on the front. We're going to do multiply the two numbers they give us for the area of the rectangle, and then for the area of the triangle, we're going to take half. Done, done. Seven, eight, look at nine. <clears throat> they give you a long, skinny rectangle. And they give you eight on one side and one on the other. So what is the area of that long, skinny rectangle? Eight. What's your unit? Centimeters squared. <clears throat> now, it asks you to explain something, but I've already shown you in my paper here. It says, explain why the area of a triangle is half the area of a related rectangle. Because when you split the rectangle in half, you get two triangles. That's it. <clears throat> okay, 11 and 12 are what we did yesterday. So this is your moment for review. This is your moment to shine. You're going to split those two shapes into the two boxes. And you're going to find the area of the one box, the area of the other, and then add them together. Both of those are pretty simple. You're just going to kind of lop off that sticky out part. Do that separately. Do the big box. Add them. <clears throat> now, uh, let's look at the word problem together and then you'll be done. Maya is making paper circles for a craft project. She is putting lace around each circle. Uh uh, around each circle. Good. Estimate the circumference. Remember, circumference was the word that we used to describe as kind of like perimeter, right? But this is talking about circles. And if you look back at your lesson the other day, we talked about the, <clears throat> the formula for circumference. So it says, estimate the circumference of the circle to determine the amount of lace needed. The diameter of each circle is 6 inches. So let's see if we can remind ourselves what circumference was. So circumference was pi which remember pi is 3.14, but for our purposes, we're going to estimate it at three. We're not gonna worry about the decimal right now. We're going to just estimate it at three, <clears throat> and then we're gonna multiply it times the diameter. Actually, we represent that with a little d. So that's all it is. Circumference is three, really it's pi, but three times diameter. So let's, um, each circle is six inches. How much lace does she need to go around the outside of one circle? So if her circle, where three stays the same, and her circle was six inches,
what is that going to leave us with? 3 times 6 is 18 inches. So she's going to need 18 inches to go completely around the circle. Now look at 14. How about, about how much lace does she need to go around five circles? Well, if this was one circle, what do we need to do? We need to take that 18 and we're going to multiply that 18 times 5. And I'm going to let you do that. Okay. Now, in the comment section of this video, I want you to look around your house today. I want you to look around your house and look for some shapes. And I want you to see where you see triangles. Triangles are a little bit, we can see rectangles everywhere. The dresser, the picture frame. Where do you see some triangles today? And see if you can list a few things just around your house where you have noticed some triangles. I hope you're having a great day.